Craig, what, what in the world is a QCD? Yeah, al alphabet soup, right? <laughs> isn't, isn't that the idea? There are so many acronyms in our industry, it's easy to get lost. QCD, qualified, charitable, distribution. Each of those words is important. Qualified, there's some rules around it. Charitable, it's going to be money that's going to a charity. Distribution, it's coming out of our retirement plan, an IRA. It has to be coming from an IRA and not an employer-sponsored plan. Some of the qualifications, I have to be 70 and a half. Not, not the year I'm going to reach 70 and a half, but actually get there. So if I'm born in January, I have to wait till July before I'm eligible. And all these ages, because 70 and a half used to be when we had take RMDs. RMDs, another one of those, another one of those acronyms, required minimum distribution. So the age has changed recently on RMDs, 73 for most people that we're working with today. Let's assume that we have the RMD that needs to be met. The qualified charitable distribution can help us meet that RMD. It has to come from an IRA, has to go directly to the charity, doesn't stop in your bank account first, but that allows us to not report it as taxable income on our tax return. With the standard deduction so high today, a lot of people aren't able to take a deduction around their charitable giving. So the QCD steps in, helps us avoid the taxation being reported, the taxable income reporting on our 1040, and, and allows us to, to do good in the world, give to the charities, and get a little bit of a benefit on our tax return. It's only been around for I'm going, three or four years, I would say. Largely. And so five years ago, we weren't able to do this, so this is a phenomenal tax advantage for those that aren't itemizing. Absolutely, and if you're itemizing, I think there's still an advantage if you are itemizing, and that it keeps our adjusted gross income lower. Hmm. So if you are itemizing, there's a reason to talk about it. It helps us maybe with Medicare premiums. If you aren't itemizing, it gives you an advantage as well. So let's make sure we're talking about it. We have set an internal limit of $500 to a charity just because there is time and effort involved uh, from our team. But let's I have a few clients that want to give $30 to 60 charities. <laughs> <laughs> and and it, on my side, Elias spends a lot of time doing that. It's a lot of work, and so we have and, set yeah. that limit. And we're happy to participate with you in helping the charities within a little bit of reasonable Yes yeah. to it. So that's the story. So QCD, Qualified Charitable Distribution, gets dollars to the charities that you you're care about and you're concerned about uh, and helps you out a little bit as well in taxes. Mm -hmm.